Okay. Okay, guys, remember we are doing um, um, activity based costing here. And with activity based costing, guys, we need to allocate the manufacturing overhead per product, right? In the ABC. The ordinary questions are given. Can you guys please to your mind, please? There's someone watching TV somewhere. I don't know. Go mute the mic. So we have here our manufacturing overheads or our cost pool, which we need to allocate to our three products. Here. No, it's not. Let me see it's if I can do this once my It's all just join. Okay, so guys, we have these cost pools which we need to allocate to our products. Our, our products are these three products here. We have one plate, we have two plate, and we have three plates here, guys. So the, the first step whereby you need to allocate your thing, you need to calculate your overhead recovery rate for each cost pool that you have here, guys. You have the machine maintenance, the machine setup, purchasing material, and general. So already we are done with the first cost pool here, whereby our, our cost driver was the machine hours. We looked at how many hours did we, do, do we need to produce one plate, and how many hours do we need to produce two plates, and how many hours do we need to produce three plates, and we got a total of 21,500. Yeah, our total cost, and then we divided by our cost pool, and we got our overhead recovery rate of 45 rand per machine hour. We are together on that part, ne, guys? Yes. So now on the second cost pool here, or on our second overhead <laughs> here, uh, Lindelani, can you please switch, uh, mute your mic? Machine setup here, we have this total cost here of 75,504. I got it here. This is the same amount with this one here. And they say that for this machine setup, my cost driver is machine setups. So now I need to come here and get my total number of setups. So the information about setups is here, guys. They told me that um, machine setups per batch, so which means per batch, guys, for one plate, I'm gonna have two setups and then for two plates, I'm going to have three setups. And then for three plates, I'm going to have one setup. Are we guys? Are we guys? Oh, guys. Are we going to fight for mute your mic, guys? Please mute your mics, please. Okay. <sighs> guys, for one plate, I need to set to make two setups for each and every batch. So to get my total set out for one plate, I need to take these two and multiply by the number of batches. Do you understand, guys? Hello? Yes. Okay, so if you check here on the information here, guys, we are not given the number of batches, but we are only given the batch size. So which means each and every batch, it has a, a, a size of 50. So each batch has 50 units of one plate here, and each batch here has 100 units of two plate, and then each batch here has 500 units of three plate. So to get the number of batches, I want to take the total units divided by the batch size. Do you guys understand that? Do I need to repeat that? Yes, please repeat the question. Yes. Judge. Okay, guys, we are given here that the machine setups per batch is two for one plate. <laughs> but I need to get the total setups. So if here I'm given the setups per batch, to get the total setups, I need to take these two and multiply by the number of batches. Do you understand that part? Then, okay, I'm now given here 
the batch size. They tell me that the batch size for one plate, each and every batch has 50 units. But I know that the total unit is what is 1.5. So with these two, with these two digits or these two numbers here, I can work out my number of batches by taking my total units divided by my total batches. If you take 1.5 divided by 50, you're gonna get your number of batches, and then you multiply by these two to get your total number of setups. So I'm gonna do here now. I'm now gonna look for the total setups. Uh, total setups for one plate, I'm going to say it's equals to, I open my bracket. I take the total units of 1.5. I divide by 50, which is the batch size. This is going to give me my number of batches. Then after getting this number of batches here, I'm going to multiply by two. This two is my setups per batch. So which means for one plate, I'm going to have 60 setups. Do you guys understand? Hey guys, switch off the mics. Switch off the mics. Then now we go to two big now. We're going to do this very same thing. I'm going to take the 2.5 total units, divide by the batch size of 100, I get the number of batches. Then after I multiply by the three, then you get the total setups. So I'm going to say it's equals to open bracket. I take the 2.5, I divide by the 100. I'm, I get my number of batches. And I'm going to multiply by three. Get my number of batches of 75. Then I do the same with um, three plate. I'm going to take the 4,000 units. Divide by the batch size of 500, multiply by one to get my number of setup. Open bracket, 4,000, divide by 500, close bracket, multiply by one, which is the number of setups. I said it's one there. So which will give me eight. How to get my total? You guys, can you please move your mind? Yo, yo, shut up. You guys shut up. Switch up the mic. Guys, you know there with Ugueli TV and Ulalele Lana. Can you please switch off the mic because you're disturbing other us here? You're disturbing guys, guys. Switch off the mic. Switch off the mics now. How am I going to upload this on YouTube while I'm busy telling people to switch off the mic? Guys. So but now to get my total setups here, I'm going to take the 60 plus the 75 plus the 8 there, and I get my total setups to be 143. Now to get my overhead recovery rate, I'm going to take the total cost, divide by my total cost driver there, which is going to give me an amount of this, divide by that. I'm getting an amount of 528 um, rent. This is per setup. Do you guys understand that? Please repeat. Okay. The last part. The last part here, how I got this the per set up. right? Yes. This 528 is my POR. Remember the formula for POR is what is my total cost divide by my total of the basis or the total of the cost driver. So this 75,504 divided by 4, 143 is going to give me the 528. Oh, okay. Thank you. Then now we move to the next cost pool, which is the purchasing. We go to purchasing there. We are giving a total cost of 127,300. There is the one on my workings. There is my 1,127,300 there. Now I need to get the cost driver. The cost driver, they said that it's uh, purchase orders. Purchase order is my cost driver. So I need to get my number of purchase orders for one plate, number of purchase order for two plate, number of purchase order for three plate, and get my total there. Now going back to this information here, we're now going to look for purchase order. You see here, they say purchase order per batch. 
per batch, I have four, four purchase orders for one plate, four orders for two plate, and six orders for three plate. But remember, guys, this is per batch. I still need to get the number of batches first so that I can multiply with this four. So I'm going to go here for one plate. I'm going to say it's equals to, to get my number of batches, I'm going to take the 1.5 here, divide by the batch size here, multiply by this four there to get my orders. So I have the 1.5, divide by five, uh, 50, close bracket, multiply by uh, the four, which is my number of purchase order per batch. I get the 120. Then I go to my two plate. I say it's equals to, I open my bracket. I need to get my number of batches is gonna be the 2.5 divided by the 100 times this four of the number of orders there. So I have 2,500. I multiply by uh, the, oh, I divide by, divide by the um, 100. And then I close the bracket and I multiply by the four orders per batch to get an amount of 100. I do the same with triplet. I say it's equals to open bracket. I take the 4,000 divided by 500 times this six year. So I have 4,000 divided by 500, close bracket, multiply by six. Then I get an amount of 48. So now I can get my total of the cost driver. I take the 120 and then plus the 100 plus the 48 there, which will give me an amount of 268. Now to get my overhead recovery rate, I'm gonna take the total cost there, divide by my total of my cost driver there, which will give me an amount of this, divide by that there, so giving them an amount of 475. This one is per purchase order. Do you guys understand? Okay, then I moved, I moved, I, I, then I moved to material handling. Material handling here, the cost for material handling is the 105,110. And they tell me that the cost driver is the material movement. So I'm going to take this total cost there and I put it there. There's my 105,110 there. And then now I need to get my material movement for one plate, two plate, and three plate. So now I go back to this table here looking for my material movement. There's the information about material movement. They say material movement per batch is 10. For one plate is five, for two plate is four, for three plate. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna still do the same, take the 1.5, divide by the 50 to get the number of batches, then I multiply by the 10 to get a total number of movements. So what I'm gonna do for one plate, I'm gonna say it's equals to open bracket, the 1,500 divided by the 50, close bracket, multiply by the 10. Then I get an amount of 300. For two plate, I'm going to take the 2,500, divide by the 100, multiply by that five there. So I'm going to take an amount, I'm going to say it's equals to, open bracket, the 2,500. Tapelo, please enable your participants. Guys, you can't see my screen. We can. Fine, you low OT. Are you guys using a e e laptop or a phone? Laptop. I because people are buying by a bone, I have a bone, shocking local man. Okay. Let me quickly let, let, let me quickly check my, 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 my meeting settings here. All right.
fish. Now we can see. Yeah, no, I, I, I just, yeah. I, I, now you can see me, Anish. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. See. Uh, one person can share, multiple can share, it's not even nasty. Who can share, host only. Ah, come on. Can everyone see now? Yes. Yes. Number one. Yes. Okay. Awesome. 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 Um. Okay. Okay. So now let, let, let's continue now. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, can I ask something? Nick? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm left behind. How did you get the CT120? The what? The 60, the machine uh, set up. This 60. And, uh, plate one, one plate. Yes. This 60. So here yeah. we were dealing with machine setup, right? And then here yeah. they said about machine setups, our course driver is machine setups, right? Then from mm -hmm. there, I'm going to come to this information here, looking for the setups. We said here, the number of setups here, they said for one plate, we have two setups per batch. The machine setups per batch for one plate is two. So you need to take these two and multiply by the number of batches. Okay. <laughs> But you are not giving the number of batches here, you are giving the batch size. So to get the number of batches, you're gonna take this 1.5, divide by this 50, you get your number of batches. Then if you take that the answer, multiply by this two, you will get this 60. Are we fine now? Yeah. Okay. No. Okay, where did I lose you? Guys, where did I lose you? Talk to me, guys. Guys, someone said no. The corner look really pale. This was good morning, but I think that's what we want to show you. Yes, ma'am. They are watching TV. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm continuing, guys. <laughs> you said no, <laughs> I'm not talking. I mean, I'm continuing, I'm not. So, guys, okay, I was here. Hello. Okay, so the one for 120. 120, I'm mm. 120, you're dealing with purchasing. And then they said mm. here about purchasing here, the cost driver is purchase orders. So you need to get the number of purchase orders for one plate. Here's the information about one plate. They say that for one plate, you have four purchase orders per batch. So you also need to get the number of batches first and then multiply that number of batches with the purchase orders, which is four. So if you take this 1.5 again, divide by this 50, multiply by this four, you will get this 120. Okay. We are all sorted now. Hello. Hello. Um, how did you get the eight? The eight, yeah. Yes. For three plate here, yeah, we're dealing with machine setups. So we go to machine setups here. Yeah, the cost driver was machine setups. So there is the information about machine setups. So they said we have one setup per batch for 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 three plate. Three plate is one setup per batch. So if you take the 4,000 divided by the 500 times this one here, you should get this eight. Oh, okay, thank 4, you. 4,000 divided by 500 times one there. Okay, thank you. Any question? No question. 
Okay, then we move. I uh, might continue from the material handling. I already had gotten my 300 there. Now I go to my two plate there. Remember material handling, it was number of movements. So they said number of movements for two plate. We have five movements per batch. So I'm gonna take the 2.5, divide by the 100, multiply by five. So it's equals to, I open my bracket, 2,500, divide by 100, and then close bracket, multiply by five, and I get my amount of 125. Then for three plate, I take the 4,000, divide by 500, times 500 the number of movements, which is four. Sorry? Okay, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna open my bracket. I take the 4,000, I divide by the 500, I close the bracket, I multiply by the four, and I get my number all to be this 32. Then now to get my total, I'm gonna say it's equals to, I take the 300 plus the 125 plus the 32, then I get an amount of 457. Then now to get my overhead recovery rate, I'm gonna take my cost here of 105,110, divide by my total of my cost driver there, which would give me the 105 there, divide by the 457 there, giving an amount of 230. This is per movement, per movement. I don't. You're moving too fast. Uh, the 32. How do okay. you do it? Okay, I'll, I'll repeat the material handling, right? Okay. Okay, guys, for material handling, I'm giving the 105,110. That's my total cost, which I need to allocate to my products, these three products. But they say that for material handling, my cost driver is material movement. So I need to get the, the material movement for one plate and get the material movement for two plate and get the material movement for three plate and add all those material movements and get my total. So yeah, how did I get this 300 here? They said here, material movement per batch is 10 for one plate. is 10 per batch. So I need to take this 10 and multiply by number of batches. So I'm not giving the number of batches here. I'm only giving the batch size. To get the number of batches, I need to take these total units here, divide by the batch size here. It will give me the number of batches. Then I take that number of batches, I multiply by the 10 there. So that's why you see the 1.5 there, divide by 50 times the 10 there. It will give me the number of movements for one plate, which is the 300. Then I go to two plate. Two plate, I have five movements per batch. To get the number of batches, I'm gonna take the 2,500 there, divide by the batch size of 100, multiply by five there. There I have my answer there, 2.5 divided by 100 times five there, giving me an amount of 125. Then going to three plate, three plate, I have 4,000 total units divided by the bed size of 500, giving me my number of batches, then multiply by the four, which is the number of movements per batch, giving me an amount of 4,000 divided by 500, that times four will give me an amount of 32. Then when I add these three amounts here, I'm gonna get this 457. Then now to get my overhead recovery rate, this one here, I take my total cost, divide by the total of the cost driver there, giving me this 230. Did I leave anyone behind? Yes. Who doesn't yeah. understand now? Okay, seems like we are fine. So we move to the last cost pool here, which is general. General here, we have 3,250,000, and they tell us that the cost driver here is labor hours. 
So now here I need to get the num the labor hours for one plate and get my labor hours for two plate and get my labor hours for three plate. So now let's go to this information there looking for our labor hours. There is the information about labor hours. They said direct labor hours per unit is two for play for one plate, is four for two plate, and then is three for three plate. So to get my total hours for one plate, I will take the hours per unit multiplied by the total units of this 1.5. For two plate, I'm going to take this four divided by 2.5. For three plate, I'm going to take the three, the three times the 4,000. So one plate, now I'm going to say it's equals to the 1.5 multiplied by two. Do you guys understand? Hello? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then for two plate, I'm going to say it's equals to, I take the four times the 2.5. So it's going to be 2.5 times the four, giving me that amount there. Then for three plate, it's equals to, I'm going to take the three times the 4,000 there. So 4,000 times the three there, giving me the 12,000 there. Then my total is equals to, I take the 3,000 plus the 10,000 plus the 12,000 there, giving me 25,000. Then to get my overhead recovery rate, I'm going to say it's equals to, I take the total cost, which is this 3,250,000, I divide by the total of my cost driver, the 25,000 there, in amount of 130 per uh, labor hour. Okay, how did you get the 10,000? <clears throat> uh, how did I get the 10,000? This 10,000 here. 2.5 times 4. The, the 10,000 is for two plate. So for two plate, guys, I have four hours per unit. So I'm going to take the, two, the four times the 2.5 there. Oh, okay, thank you. So now we are done, guys, getting our overhead recovery rate, which is the first step of your overhead recovery rate. Now we go to the second step now, whereby I will be calculating the total cost for one plate. I want to know how much am I paying for one plate. Okay? So remember now the cost driver, the cost driver for one plate, uh, the cost driver for machine maintenance now. I want to know for strictly one plate, how much did I pay for machine maintenance? How much did I pay for machine setups? How much did I pay for purchasing? And how much did I pay for all this cost here? So now remember guys, the machine maintenance, the cost driver was machine hours. And then the cost driver was machine hours. And then there I'm going to take there and put my total machine hours for one plate which is the 4.5. Remember one plate, yes. machine hours here, it was the 4.5, remember, right? Yes. I put my 4.5 there. And then my, my overhead recovery rate for maintenance was this 45 there. I'm going to put my overhead recovery rate there, which is the 45 there. And then here I'm going to put my total cost. <clears throat> total cost. My total cost here for one plate under the machine maintenance will equal the machine hours here multiplied by the 45 there, giving me this 205 500. Do you guys understand this part? Yes. yes. Then we go to machine setup. The machine setup, the cost driver was what? Machine setup was machine setups. If you remember very well, the setups for one plate was this 60 for one plate, right? Yes. Then I'm going to take yes. there, I'm going to put my 60 there. There's my 60. And then my overhead recovery rate for machine setups was this 528. So I'm going to put my 528 there. It's equal to, I put my 528 there. Then my total cost is equals to, I take the 60, I multiply by the 525 there, I get my total cost to be 31,680. Do you guys understand? 
Yes. yes. We go to purchasing. Purchasing, the cost driver was purchase order. So I'm going to put the, the 120 there for one plate. And then the POR or the overhead recovery for the purchasing was there for 75. Then giving me a total cost of what? Of 120 multiplied by, by the 475, giving me 57,000. Okay. And then we do the same with the material handling. I have the 300 there. And then I have my overhead recovery rate of material handling. Oh, I made a mistake here. Mm -hmm. For purchasing here, the overhead recovery was the 260. So I have to put. Um, they are watching uh, TV again. They are watching TV. Uh, purchasing. There is the 268 there. And then the POR for material handling here, material handling, the POR is the 457. So now I need to put the 457 there. Then from there, guys, I need to take my 300, then I multiply by the 457 there, then I get that total okay, cost no. there. Hello? Why do you put that 268? Yeah, it's 475. Remember purchasing, right? So the POR for purchasing, there's my purchasing here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's equals okay. to the 475. And then it's here it's good. equals to for material handling is the 230, right? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Then we go to general. General, my labor was for one plate was at 3,000 is equals to, and then my overhead recovery rate was there, 130 there. Then from there, if you take this 3,000 times this 130, you're going to get this amount there. Do you guys have any question about this, this part here? No. Then now I can now exactly get my total manufacturing overheads for one play. So if I take this, I say it's equal to, and I add all these total costs here, and I add everything there. I add everything on that there, and I add that. I'm getting this much. So which means for one plate, this is the total cost I have paid. And then guys, remember the question said they are looking for the cost per product, not the total cost. Remember the total units was there, 1.5. So I'm gonna put the 1.5 there. 1.5 units. So to get the cost per unit, I'm gonna take the total cost, I divide by the number of units there, and I get the 512. You guys have any question? Please repeat that, Tabel. Remember the question here. They said allocate the manufacturing overhead cost per product. So you're looking for per product. And this 750,000 there, that's the total cost incurred for one, uh, for one plate. So to get the cost for one plate, for one product, I'm gonna take this total cost, divide by the number of units there, giving me this 500. Oh, okay. So guys, remember, and then now here, we have another overhead cost here, which is the production overhead. They said that production overhead costs are attributable to each product. For one plate is 32, for two plate is 64, and then for three plate is 48. So already see, this production overhead is already allocated to one product. So I can add my production overhead there. I can say my production, my production overhead for one product is 82. Then giving me my total cost per unit of how much I take the 500, then I add the 32 and I get an amount of 532. This is the, you are done for one plate now. That's what, that's the cost per unit for one plate. 
And then now, guys, you're going to do the very same thing here for two plate. So if you check, guys, this overhead recovery rate here will stay the same here, right? The only thing, the only thing that's going to change will be your cost drive here. Remember, for one plate, we took, we took this information here. For two plates, we're going to take this information here, multiplying by overhead recovery rate. For three plates, we're going to take this information here, multiplying with this overhead recovery rate. Do you guys understand? Yes. Do I, do I have to do this two plate and three plate? I don't have to, right? No. I don't have to. You understand, right? Yes. Okay, guys. Um, I'm left with one minute for me this meeting. I'm going to end this meeting and share with you another link again for departmentalization. Is that fine? No problem. Okay. Thank you, guys. I hope you understand, yeah, guys. Yeah, you all make noise. You all make noise. Okay. So we do. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> you all make noise. Yeah.